I am alone, and I'm out of law, son of Oberheim. But was pregnant by Viscount. Looking sexy, but technically unfinished and very buggy and crappy. People buying me cause I'm looking cool, but thinking that I'm sounding not so Oberheimish and warm and suited for experimental sounds. Now my owner will crash me for the parts. Stop! I will take it and fix it and rediscover! Greetings, boys and girls. It's Nick from the Lofo Store, and today is the first episode from our underrated synth series, as expected. And uh, I'm in uh, Arturia Micro Freak T-shirt, not because Arturia uh, sponsoring our video, but uh, because uh, it's only fresh I have. Hope it looks okay. Today we will talk about the Oberheim OB12. Uh, first of all, uh, we cannot say that it's a vintage synthesizer because it was made in 2000 and was manufactured from 2000 uh, to 2005. It's having uh, 12 voices and uh, it's virtual analog and made by Italian company Viscount uh, which is actually made organs uh, and not specialized on uh, virtual or uh, analog hardware synthesizers. So let's demystify the open So as said in our uh, funny intro, uh, the Oberheim Ultra B12 looks very sexy and uh, the, the main uh, like like uh, we say superpowers of this synthesizer that all of the synth parameters can be tweaked in real time uh, there are not so much things uh, in the menu uh, most of the parameters uh, we can tweak in real time and it, it gives a really fast result uh, in terms of making new sounds the main thing why people I don't like this synthesizer after they buy it they see on YouTube uh, that it is such a sexy thing and they thinking that oh it looks sexy it must sound sexy and they buy it but it sounds not like an Oberheim uh, old vintage gear uh, the first thing I'm thinking about uh, when I uh, got this synth uh, from the guy uh, who said that it's too experimental for me, it's too buggy for me, it's not my style, blah blah blah. Uh, there is a, no uh, such a thing, it's not my style. Uh, every synthesizer uh, is having its own character and uh, it's the question of uh, experience. What can you do with, with every model and uh, can you make uh, out of this model the best sounds? When I got this synthesizer, it's a bugging in real time, um, I'm thinking about overall sound. I found that uh, overall uh, tone or overall wave 
sounds very tiny and uh, very uh, not alive, not organic. So what uh, had I done? I took uh, the um, frequency spectrum from our trusty Access Virus keyboard from the vintage presets we made uh, for our uh, Alpha store and uh, make a comparison uh, with the frequencies uh, with the frequency uh, spectrum uh, of virus with the Oberheim and uh, it's very great that Oberheim is having this uh, section it's a master equalizer it can be graphic or parametric uh, there are uh, five faders uh, one knob for the switch of graphic and parametric and bypass knob so I uh, match the uh, overall spectra of the virus and put uh, the spectra on the Oberheim and it immediately uh, starts sounds different and uh, very nice I will show you the result first of all I will show you uh, the patch uh, with master section bypassed and then we'll show you the patch uh, with my settings for the master equalizer using graphic mode. So now uh, we're using master equalizer on bypass. And now let's turn on the master equalizer and let's hear how it will sound. So now you can hear the difference, uh, I will include this setting uh, to the YouTube video, also I already included it uh, on the Facebook group. Uh, this setting helps uh, make uh, the best sounds from the Oberheim itself and uh, put uh, Oberheim 12 uh, to the normal virtual analog uh, synthesizers category. So as you see at the close look. Uh, I'm having the typical problem of this model. Uh, the screen is uh, slowly dying, let's say like that. So it's lots of uh, horizontal uh, glitches on the screen. But it's not a big problem because uh, we look uh, because we look at screen and we see all what we need. And also, we can use a special editor for this old Oberheim, uh, which I will mention a bit later. What I want to talk now, uh, after this setting we made for the uh, graphic equalizer, the second one, very important thing, uh, to put the last uh, operating system, uh, uh, last CPU inside, and the special uh, system parameters. Uh, if we push system and uh, using the global setup menu and go to the sysinfo, we can see uh, which operating uh, system version we have now. Uh, we must have uh, the CPU release 1.52. Uh, the DSP release 1.52. 1, 1. and uh, we must uh, upload via CSEX, via MIDI, special system parameters. These three uploads uh, will give you uh, the less buggy all the functions you have on this synthesizer. I spent a few months with this synthesizer, like three days a week, and made my sound set. Uh, 30 cosmic pads and strings for the synthesizer. Uh, I will leave the link under this video. And now uh, I want to say what sections of this model is very buggy. First of all, 
uh, it's having sequencer. Sequencer is not so intuitive and it's not so really easy to make a sequences on this synthesizer. But you can use any uh, outboard gear like uh, Beatstep, Beatstep Pro or any virtual sequencer if you want to make a complex melodies using uh, the sound engine of Oberheim OB12. Second uh, stuff is uh, morph function. As you know, morphing it's uh, continuously uh, changes from one setting to another setting. Uh, we have morph here and it's also working a bit strange. I tried to uh, try to set it but uh, every time it sounds a bit strange. So unfortunately I uh, quit uh, the morph section. Uh, the third buggy stuff is uh, unfortunately the ribbon controller. It is having two functions, relative and hold. Uh, when you push hold uh, and uh, make any setting, uh, it will remember it. And relative, uh, always uh, put uh, your sound by default when you uh, take your uh, hands off. But these settings on different sounds in different modes are working a bit strange also. So unfortunately, I cannot uh, make this controller work uh, with my presets uh, nice. Uh, but the other functions like arpeggio, like internal effects, like LFOs and uh, complex oscillator section and uh, two ADSRs and uh, pen function works good. So we will focus on all of this I mentioned just now. And now let's talk a bit about the structure of synthesis engine of Oberheim OB12. Uh, there are two opportunities, program mode and timber mode. I made all my sounds in timber mode and uh, here uh, all the bugs are coming when you push the timber mode. Uh, you have only one sound. One sound can contain two oscillators and in timber mode it's sometimes going to any uh, menus randomly. And also uh, there is a special thing in the timber mode you cannot save uh, this effect section uh, in the timber mode. For example, I cannot uh, turn off uh, the chorus setting for this patch Lost Planet NK. Uh, when I change the presets, the effect section not changing uh, anyhow, it's still working. But in program mode, the effects are saved with the each program. Uh, for now, for the first time, I made uh, my presets in timber mode. And I made uh, like an optimal setting for these ones. And uh, in future, I will make my own sounds using the program mode. So just uh, to mention that uh, in timber mode, you cannot save uh, all the effect settings. In program mode, you can do it. In timber mode, uh, there are only one timber per time. In program mode, you can uh, use four parts, four timbers in real time. But of course, it will limit your polyphony. And uh, the polyphony uh, is another bug in the Oberheim B12 because uh, very often you're hearing the cutting tails when you're playing chords, uh, it cut tails, especially in the program mode. By the way, Another controller which acts great and having no bugs and no problems, it's aftertouch. Check this out. Inside of the machine you can uh, assign lots of parameters to the aftertouch. It's a very nice addition. And now I will show you two crazy things by which this synthesizer is very popular. It's the resonance parameter of the filter and uh, frequency modulation of the first oscillator. First of all, let's uh, hear this crazy frequency modulation. It's really cracking. It's like a, it's like a big beast or the alien or the predator is uh, crying. So 
So please be very careful with this knob, FM, because it sounds really, really hard. And let's talk about the resonance. Uh, the resonance, I'm not using any resonance in my sounds because even if in this setting, like a 10%, 15%, it starts sounds very resonative. Uh, and I will show you the three settings, 15%, uh, 50% and 100%. No resonance, 15%. Already a lot of resonance. Fifty percent. It starts sounds very annoying. And be very careful. I will take off my headphones when I push the resonance on the maximum. So it screams like a real analog synthesizer and also maybe a bit more like very um, toxic sound. Let's uh, say it like that. So guys, check it out. Our long MIDI connection to the Oberheim. This is MIDI in MIDI out, which is going to our motor 828 and uh, all the OS files which is included in this video they are in uh, MIDI format you can see it here on my desktop here they are uh, the CPU version, the DSP version and the system uh, parameters version you can load it in your DAW it's a Cubase, uh, in my case, uh, put it on the MIDI track, assign MIDI in and MIDI out to the, your audio card, and you can play this file like this, and it will load uh, the system of the Oberheim inside the Oberheim. And also, after loading, it will be automatically rebooted, and now you can see that uh, the color of screen had changed because uh, the settings are uh, put on zero. And now uh, in the timber mode we can change the presets and there will be no problems uh, with the bugging uh, menus are coming randomly. And now Let's uh, hear our sounds from the sound set for the Oberheim and uh, I will showing you a few possibilities and a few options in real time. So boys and girls, now I will show you some of my custom sounds which I made for my sound set. It, it using timber mode, so it will play only one single sound. After this uh, you can imagine uh, what can you do with the program mode and with the four parts. The first sound will show you the aftertouch possibilities. It's called Lost Paradise and it's using uh, after pen ruling the aftertouch. So when I push, push harder, uh, the keys, the after penning function immediately start working. Uh, next one, it's called Dark Speed. After paint automatically. Again, without our graphic EQ overall sound setting. 
and with our graphic QSR setting. Have, uh, you have heard lots of uh, low frequencies and overall body is very solid. And uh, in this after pen, uh, pad we can use LFO1 uh, to uh, rule the speed of the LFO. On the very, very slow square LFO. Very fast. Almost out of the speed. Uh, the next patch will be 77 and it will show uh, how long the envelope of Ober Oberheimer B12 can be. Also, after touch is working, you can make great pads and strings uh, with this synthesizer. Uh, next one will be cinematic sound. Having uh, amplitude modulation on the modulation wheel. And by the way, uh, this sound reminds me a real uh, analog of Berheim very well. The next one will be massive sound. Do you hear how uh, how organic and how um, vintage Oberheimer B12 start to sound? It's very nice uh, in this setting and uh, the setting of the oscillators and filters uh, filters helping very much. With the no resonance, of course. This one uh, called Earth Pad. This one called ICC and it sounds very old school and vintage. And now this special one. I made uh, Blade Runner 2049 film. It sounds really massive. It's like a MOOC modular system sound by Hans Zimmer, uh, which was in uh, original sound check. The next one.
This uh, Venus pad working with the unison on the oscillators. And uh, you can clearly hear how Oberheim will be 12 cutting the tails of the notes. So the polyphony is uh, real buggy stuff. So in the program mode in which you can use four parts, it will be really buggy. The Legato patch, normal arm. Uh, you hear how expressive it is. Uh, the filter cutoff is modulated by velocity. So in this episode I want to show you the pads and Atmos and strings territory of the Oberheim B12. Uh, I showed you a few examples from my uh, sound set. And uh, let's say it's uh, not so complex sounds. It's just uh, normal, usually classic sounds. But with all of these uh, front panel parameters, uh, two LFOs, uh, uh, very complex oscillators and uh, a few envelopes, you can make really complex and very interesting sounds uh, which stands out from the original Oberheim uh, limited possibilities. So this uh, synthesizer, it's not a crap. It's not only looks sexy, but I show you, showed you now that it sounds very sexy. It just needs uh, a little effort, a little time, and uh, it's needed um, uh, a little bit forces put it inside to grow its potential. Uh, you can find a link below uh, on our sound set. Well, it's not a drum. And uh, this is the outro for this video. Uh, I think that Oberheim B12 is very underrated because uh, today I showed you only the atmospheric sounds territory. Maybe in the next uh, few episodes I will show you uh, the analog uh, side of this uh, machine and uh, the ARP possibilities of this uh, blue guy. I like it very much. It's having lots of possibilities. The quality of this synthesizer I like a lot. Of course, it's very buggy. Of course, of course, it's not for the beginners. It's for uh, very um, experienced sound designers. But I think that this synthesizer having uh, overall great sound and it takes its part in the synthesizer history. So take your Oberheims from the boxes and take off the dust and start to play! Oh. And a little bonus for you, our subscribers, a custom-made OB12 editor. This version is semi-working on the Windows 7 and maybe working on the Windows 10. Uh, Double-click. Font non presente! Que pasa, amigo? Ok, 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 
1.0 uh, will work. Thank you very much. By Luca Piccinini. Piccinini. Thank you very much, Luca. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.